All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to give all praise to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Hashem, on the brother Raya. On the other side of the screen, you got the brother Bashar uh, from the branch of Great Waters here, uh, a part of the camp of Great Millstone. Double honor to our Apostle Ellis, a great millstone, you know, ruling well and, and edifying the sheep. You know, which will be us. You know, all the all the all the men that come under the flock. You know, and who's our ultimate shepherd is uh, Yahweh, Ba Hashem Yahweh Shah. And you want to give uh, peace and blessings out there to the hopeful elect and striving in his in his in his walk, this path, this faith, and this in his light. And where that all come from is you know the Holy Bible, uh, the Heavenly Father's Word, these scriptures that most people did not. Uh, consider because uh, most of the world sit up in darkness, they didn't consider that this answers everything that you see going on today. This this is your salvation. This is your refuge. This is the point where uh, you need to be inclined to, to, to you know, interested in if you're an Israelite, which is the Negroes, Latinos, Native American, Me uh, Mexicans, and the Israelite foreigners among these other nations. What you need to do is uh, uh, pray and repent. So that's so the uh, theme of this message, this joint. I mean, this lesson is going to be about um, uh, the brothers going to start off with Matthew six and nineteen, and this is uh, the whole duty of man, you know, to uh, as I say in Ecclesiastes twelve, the whole duty of man is follow these laws, statutes, commandments. But this. It's, it's how you uh, gain fruit. You got it out. This is uh, a <clears throat> this is Matthew chapter six verse nineteen. It reads, "Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth nor trust nor slack." Read nineteen one more time. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt. Mm -hmm. And and where thieves break through and steal. Now, why I say upon earth? What you lay? What you gather on this earth? You gather, you know, women, clothes, cars, money, and hoes. You know, gold and all types of manner of precious foods and ointments and oils and that's all treasures of the world. Now, what what you should be gathering up is the brother's gonna quote it in the next verse. Verse verse twenty. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor tr nor rust doth corrupt, but where thieves do not break through and nor steal. Now that's the spiritual realm. That's that's the spiritual essence that the uh, the heavenly Father ordained, where moth nor rust doth corrupt, and you know all we all spirits in these bodies, and the spiritual things. How you build that up? Is uh actually uh brother you got the pocket from you? Uh not on me, but what's up? What, what you mean? The book of Tobit. Go to Tobit chapter four and uh start with verse five. Okay. All right, this is the book of Tobit, chapter four, verse five, it reads. My son, be mindful of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, our power, all thy days. That's and how you, you know, cling on to the Lord. And the, the Lord got in his word what? Law, statute, and commandments. He got our beautiful history. He got the, the ways and the path to be that he gave to what? The first man, Adam. You know, that's that's how the world's supposed to be governed. You know, the Lord said he put Adam in the garden, the garden of Eden, which is his world. It's meant to be a paradise to dress it and to keep it, I meaning be the ultimate husbandman. And as you know, how did he do that with his wisdom? You know, yeah, and, and upon doing that, he's laying himself up treasures upon heaven, which again uh, manifests and reaps down into this this earthly realm and it prospers you. You know, um, um, when you when you when you go to the book of Psalms, the uh, 148th chapter, so lucky I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get it right now. It says that these law, statutes, and commandments were only given unto the nation of Israel, mm -hmm. and, and 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 
and who and um the the and um who's 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 the king of Israel? Uh, Yahweh Shai, who governs Israel? Mm-hmm. You know, um, we got the Israelites because we when you uh, the, the scriptures say do all things in BCC and in order, and uh, we know the Heavenly Father does that as well. So uh, there's an order to everything. So you got Yahweh, uh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, so on and so forth. And you got the Israelites govern, go, governing on the face of the earth. Mm-hmm. Okay, but but and you got Yahweh, the, the heads of the the, the 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 nation of Israel that are that 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 are govern get our governing rest of the Israelites. Mm-hmm. And the 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 testimony is in this word, and all the works of this man. And this and this word, the works do follow them, and those works, it you know where they where they was recorded at in the heavenly realm, where that's where the treasures is at. And uh, you gonna get Psalm first, or you gonna get the Book of Tobit? Um, I got the Book of Tobit. Um, this is the Book of Tobit. It's locked here. It's all good. Let me let me just. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna quote the scripture, but I'm, just, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say the the the, 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 the chapter so your brothers and sisters can look it up. Okay, it's it's uh, Psalms one forty seven Salaki. I thought it was one forty eight, but it's one the one forty seven chapter, verse nineteen on down. You can read that that the Lord only gave his Law, statutes, and commandments, uh, which is the, the universal law to the Israelites, and the reason why he gave them to the Israelites was because was so they can govern the 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 the, the earth uh, in uh, righteousness. Righteousness, yeah, yeah. And uh, this is the Book of Tobit, chapter four, verse five. My son, be mindful of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, our power, all thy days mm-hmm. and let not thy will be set to sin or to transgress his commandments do uprightly all thy life long and follow not the way of unrighteousness and that's pretty much self-explanatory let not thy let not thy will be set to sin because if your will is set to sin you know as the lord told cain the garden satan gonna rule over you and you're going to be in further darkness, further away from the Most High. Keep going, now. Um, Verse 5. Sure. No, no, no. You, you go, brother. Uh, I mean, verse 6, lock it. Uh, for if thou dealt truly, thy doing shall prosperly, prosperly succeed, yes, succeed, thee. succeed to thee mm-hmm. and to all them that live justly you know so really that's going back to um that's going to the book of deuteronomy the 28th chapter where um where uh it, where you in the, in the in the beginning the lord said uh you know if you follow these laws statutes and commandments and you obey me um you know by the way of the law statutes and commandments you shall and it, it gives you the, the list of the list of the blessings that the Lord would bestow upon the nation of Israel. Mm-hmm. Um, go ahead, Doc. Yeah, in this time right now that we're living in Babylon the Great, which uh, America is known as Babylon the Great in the scriptures, you know, uh, this this time our whole lives, when you wake up to this truth, you're born again. And the Lord is wanting to see if you're willing to even try to attempt to keep the whole law, because we know we can't keep the whole law perfectly. So to sh- really show the Lord, you know, and to stash your treasures in heaven is you repent and you, and you actually carry out these scriptures. The uh-huh. Lord loves his word to be manifested. That's, that's how you, you know, you become a friend of the Most High. The Most High has friends. The Most High has respected men. So this is how uh, you gain that covering from the Lord. And that's a treasure from on high you know, uh, ordained to protect protect you in this in this earthly realm, you know. Con, con, con. Yeah, man. Because uh, when 
because the, the Lord, just like the brother said, I mean, the, 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 uh, in, 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 in other words, the Lord wants to know if you're sincere. And um, the, this is how I mean, he, he knows that you're sincere by your works, you know, um, as it is state, stated in Second Ezra's ninth chapter. Um, um, and uh, I want to bring out this scripture, you know, to further uh, expound on what the brother just said. This is Isaiah chapter 66, because for, for one, um, we are not going to be justified by the law. Um, but the law is, is, is schoolmaster is the schoolmaster and he the lord he he wants us to use that to 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 get better in this uh in this in this time of grace to 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 wash ourselves wash our unclean habits from um from you know wash away our unclean habits you know and uh just follow the law to the best of your ability he's not saying be over 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 righteous you know, as 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 it is stated in um, Second Ezra, um, not slack, slack, he, um, as, as it is Ecclesiastes, uh, um, the seventh chapter, the the, the uh, sixteenth verse. You know, he he doesn't he doesn't want you to be over righteous. He wants you to follow the laws to the best of your ability. Because even when Yahweh Shai was on the scene, the Messiah, he 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 taught to to to, to he, he he taught to keep the law. Mm -hmm. Okay, prime example when he when, when he when he when he healed the uh, the leopard, he told the and this is this the, the, this account is in the book of Mark when he healed the the leopard he told the leopard to go to the priest so the priest can um can uh, do the proper procedures according to the law, you know, so so yeah, how should I talk the law, uh -huh. and so 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 so. So just to be sincere in the ways of the Lord. This is how he knows that you are sincere. All right. And um, I want to bring out Isaiah chapter 66, uh, verse 17. It reads, uh, uh, they that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the garden behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh and the abominations and the mouse shall be consumed together, said the Lord said, Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai. Now, you you would say, oh, but I thought we wasn't going to be justified by the law. Well, the Lord wants to know, if, for one, if you can't keep the dietary law, because that's getting into the dietary law. He said, don't, don't, don't eat swine and don't eat the mouse, all right, which is stated in um, Leviticus 11 chapter. But if you if you can't, Follow the law to to, to 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 the point of watching what you eat. By default, you're not even you're, you're not sincere. If you can't follow something as easy as that, which you can keep that law in this society, in any society, you you you, you can keep that law. If you can't follow that law, you deserve to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. You know, like, if you can't follow something as simple as that, like you must not be sincere. All right. And and, and 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 this is why, you know, the Lord, Lord, these these laws, and and and, and even as it is state, as as it is written in the book of Matthew, the fifth chapter, the seventeenth verse, on down, the Lord says, He came not to destroy the law, but to fulfill it. So, uh -huh. You know, go ahead, I'll slot the yeah, one up. Yeah, now you good. Going back to the topic at hand is storing up treasure. And what is treasure? Treasure is like a wealth of money that you keep and it's, it's uh, in reserve waiting to be used. So if, if you storing up these, these, uh, these by keeping the law by default, you're storing up treasures in heaven. Why? It's like bonus points, you know, Lord takes it, you know, and it's like, it's those works. It's like, well, look at this man. He did this all the way up until this point. Why should I destroy him? Or look at this, like as the brother was saying, look at this demon right here, rebellious child, and he was doing all these rebellious evil works up until this point. Why should I have mercy on? You know, it's just that simple. So uh, you continue on in the uh, book of Tobit, God. I got, I got, I got, 
Uh, I got a, verse. I got one, Salaki, I got one more scripture. Um, this is a this is Revelation chapter fourteen, verse thirteen. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from from henceforth. Yeah, said the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. Yeah. Okay. So 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 basically what that's getting into, um um basically the the uh just to bring out it just to clarify it for you basically the lord this world is a stage and you have a role to play in this world and when you when you go when you when you when you when you when you pass when you die you go to the spiritual realm the lord brings tells you to come back and you play out your lot again now if you become wicked, you will wax worse and worse, and eventually you would you would come back and you would have to replay that again. That's why it's very crucial that you continue on in this truth, mm -hmm. because, because in doing so, you 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 play your role that the Lord is telling you to play, and 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 and, and those works will follow you mm -hmm. in the next life. Okay, so that's this is what this. Uh, this is goes into the subject of uh, store up your riches in heaven. You know, the, like uh, your 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 riches is uh, 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 this knowledge. You know, because information travels. You know, when you when when you die, that information that you have received and knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, aka the spirit of the prophets, just like the scriptures say, the spirit of the prophets are subject unto the prophets. Okay, so. If you continue in in the spirit of of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, you know Bashim Rakah Kadash, that will be a lot in the next life. Okay, uh, Slaki brother for another rant. You know, it's just the spirit. Um, go ahead. Uh. But yeah, uh, you go uh, verse chapter four, verse seven, and told it up. Uh huh. This is uh. Tobit chapter four. I'm gonna continue on at verse seven. Did we read verse six? Yeah. Okay, right, verse seven. Give alms of thy substance, and when thou givest alms, let not thy eye be envious, neither turn thy face from any poor, and the face of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai shall not be turned away from thee that's plain and if you if you concerning the eye being envious meaning <laughs> when you do give something you're like damn i sh i should have nah if you're gonna give something give it with your whole heart uh you got that out kind, kind, kind. yeah man it's uh you know when you when you when you um when you give alms you know just just, just like the brothers say you can't be uh, bragging and boasting about it. That's wicked. You know, it, it's it's just a, a sign of, of of being petty, and 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 in modern day uh, words, you know, like you're, you're that insecure that when you do something for somebody, you have to make yourself feel good. You have to toot your own horn by bragging about it. You know, it's just it's wicked, and that's not the that's not that's not something that is uh that's not something that the lord likes you know because that, that 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 goes in to, to being prideful and you know, what the lord said what does the scripture say the lord hates a prideful look you know he hates a prideful person that's one of the the the, 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 the few things that he hates yeah you got that out in uh verse verse eight uh this is verse eight if thou has abundance, give alms accordingly. If thou have but a little, be not afraid to give according to that that little. And a, a good example of that line, that verse right there, you can read that in the book of Ops. I mean the book, not Ops. The book of Acts concerning um, uh, 
it was this couple. Damn, what their name was? Let me see real quick. I believe it was Ananias. It was Ananias and his wife. Yes, yeah, Acts chapter 5 and verse 1. I'm going to read it. It says, but a certain man named Ananias and Sapphira, his wife, sold a possession. And this, this is the, the point. It says, verse 2, and kept back a part of the price. Kept back a part of the price. His wife also being privy to it, being knowledgeable, and brought a certain part and laid it at the apostles' feet. But Peter said, Ananias, why have Satan filled thine heart to lie to the Holy Ghost? Why has Satan filled thine heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and to keep back part of the price of the land? Meaning you like, you like, you know, he stashed something and then he tried to put on the front like he gave it all. You know, that's the Lord, like the brother is saying, the Lord don't like no hypocrite. No prideful person and no no de worker of deceitfulness. So uh, going in back into Book of Tobit, uh, you know, uh, you continue on knock at verse uh, nine. Okay, this is verse nine. For thou layest up a good treasure for thyself against the day of necess necessity. Necessity. And that's. The yeah, read that again. I, and that's this is the verse I wanted to build up to. This is the whole point of the whole lesson. You, you read that again, I. Okay. For thou layest up a good treasure for thyself against the day of necessity. Now wait a minute. How do you lay up a good treasure if you're giving all this stuff away? You giving. You not stack. You not reaping. You're giving. So what treasure is this talking about? It's talking about that treasure back in Matthew 6, verse 20. Those was heavenly treasures. And how was those heavenly treasures? One is to know the Lord, you know? <laughs> and two is to, um, by default, you're going to go into these scriptures. You're going to know what the Lord has in store for you. The Lord has protection in store. In times of famine, the Lord has food in store. In times of trouble, the Lord has help in store. So those you know, you laying up good treasure for thyself against the day of necessity. Yahweh Shai said, you have not me always, but you had the poor always with you. And we are the poor, you know? So brothers need help. Brothers be poor sometimes. And brothers have it sometimes. And the Lord is watching all the children, the sons of, uh, of men, you know, watching our works. So um, you can read on to verse... You can read on to verse 13, Knock, and then uh, Lord, you know, might have to close it after that. I don't want to, I don't want to make this too long. Uh, well, because that alms do deliver from death and suffereth not to come into darkness. Tom. For alms is a good gift unto all that give it in the sight of the most high Yahweh. And the sight of the most high is those angels recording everything. That feeling you get where you think is something around you, that hedge that you feel that's around you, that's the eyes of the Lord. And he's watching, man. And he, the, just cause he watched, don't be all paranoid. Just move in the spirit and let the spirit flow. You know, cause they constantly feeding you. It's, it's, it's a receiver and a transmitter. And we are the receiving end, you know, because we we need we need uh, heavenly help <laughs> with our thoughts, with our with our actions, with our what time we're gonna do stuff at a certain time of the day, everything. So. Yeah, yeah, man. Because um, we, we right now we are in these chains of darkness, and the flesh can get a could could could, could sometimes get the upper hand mm -hmm. on us, and uh, we need those uh, those. Uh, we need we, we need these though that the, the the Holy Spirit with all, often comes in the form of the angels, um to to to, to guide us and to uh, to work on our on our minds so so we can uh, you know move and uh, move according to the Holy Spirit you know mm -hmm. and repent man repent. 
But the time is at hand. Repent. Repent. And let yo the little bit of works, a little bit time of grace period, let everything you do until tomorrow or the next day, because you don't know what the day may bring. Let everything you do from henceforth of you watching this video be a treasure laid up in heaven, man. And because you're going to need it. we The righteous shall scarcely be saved. You're going to need it. And don't be ashamed to wake up late to the truth. And just be more humble by the fact that the Lord even have mercy enough, you know, to wake you up to this truth, you know? I got uh, one more script. Uh, yeah. Up your shot. yeah, go ahead, bro. Okay, uh, this is uh, Second Edger, chapter 9. I'm going to start at verse 6. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works mm -hmm. and endings and effects and signs. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. Right. And faith without works is dead, according to the book of James. So you, you gotta, you, the Lord gave you hands, eyes, arms, mouths, legs for a reason. Yeah. So it's to it's to perform actions down here. The Lord is about action. The Lord is about scenery. The Lord is about making a, a, a name for you because he made a name for himself and we are in his, in his image. So thereby he's making names for us. Look, uh, this brother Bashar did this. This brother, uh, did that, you know what I'm saying? The Lord is all about that. Hey, and and um, and I to cut you off, brother. Uh, and and the beautiful thing about it is, one 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 of the beautiful things about it is, you know, Lord willing, you're a part of the elect. Lord mm -hmm. willing, we're a part of the elect. If but if if, if, if brothers are a part of part of the elect, these stories are going to be told from generation to generation to generation in the kingdom. You know, everything is being recorded right now and, and it's going to be uh, spoken about in the kingdom, you know, like all the trials, all the, all the, all the, uh, the, uh, the, um, the, um, the integrity that you showed, uh, all, all the, uh, the, 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 uh, the trials and tribulation that you have endured, you know, the, the, how, 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 how you, how you came through for brothers, you know, all of this. It's not going to be forgotten, you know. The, the Lord is 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 gonna is gonna let it be known. Not in vain, and uh, you know, uh, yeah, you got that. Uh, Book of Tobit, chapter four, verse twelve. Uh, this is Book of Tobit, chapter four, verse twelve. It reads, "The same must know it after death by post locking." What am I doing? <laughs> that's how I'm still in second measures. Uh, uh going back to Tobit, fast forwarding fast forward forwarding down to um twelve. Beware of all whoredom, my son, and chiefly take a wife of the seed of thy fathers, and take not a strange woman to wife which is not of thy father's tribe, for we are the children of the prophets. No, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, remember my son that our fathers from the beginnings, even that they are married wives of their own kindred and were blessed and, were blessed, and their children and their seed shall inherit the land. Yeah, yeah. Uh, verse 13. Not. Continuing on. Now, therefore, my son, love thy brethren, and despise not in thy heart thy brethren, mm -hmm. the son and daughter of thy people, and not take a wife of them. For in pride is destruction and much tr trouble and in lewdness is decay and great want for lewdness is the mother of famine 
And if you go into the etymology of the word lewd, it means unknowledgeable. Un, you know, <laughs> it's the mother of famine. It's the mother of how you ride away. Lord, yeah. it's all about knowing. You know, it's better to know than to not know. So, right. and what Toby was getting into is taking the wife of your own kindred, meaning um, these other nations could be likened on, you know, to uh, other philosophies, other this, other that, strange women, you know, strange ways that that is not the customs of our people. You know, of course, we in these times, you know, you, you know, <laughs> You know, you can't really find a righteous Israelite woman, you know, to really, really, you know, you know, have a loving day. That day, not right now. That day is later on. Really? But, kind of, you, you are, you, you are going to, going to find women that are better than other yeah, women. Yeah, but, yeah, But, 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 but to say righteous, nah, it's far <laughs> from it. <laughs> yeah. And, um, you know, back to the top of the lesson, you know, this is how you lay up your, your treasures in heaven, man. And that's coming back it, it, it says uh in the book of wisdom of solomon that that the uh the earth fighted for the righteous matter of fact i'm gonna close out with that scripture uh, quenching quenching nature i believe it's quenching nature let's see yeah this is wisdom of solomon Chapter uh Yeah, I'm gonna uh start verse this is Wisdom of Solomon chapter night nineteen verse twenty. It says the fire had power in the water, forgetting his own virtue. So the water pulls to quench all things. And it says, and water forgot his his own quenching nature on the other side the flames wasted not the flesh of the of the corruptible living things though they walked therein neither melted the icy kind of heavenly meat that was uh that was of nature apt to melt for in all things O lord thou they magnify thy people and glorify them neither didst thou lightly regard them but did assist them in every time and place and you know the Lord is a, is a beyond uh, uh, the so-called rules of reality. The Lord fighting for the righteous, man. So with that, uh, you got anything else, brother? Yeah, you know, just to add on, when you, when you say the Lord fighting for the uh, the righteous, and um, he 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 he's not subject under the uh, the laws of 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 our reality. Um, you know, just look at that, the, 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 the angels when you go into the book of Daniel, I believe that the first chapter, the 12th verse, right? Where it says the the the, the, the Michael st shall stand up. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and 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 these angels, when you see them up in the sky, you see videos of them. Um, they they're not subject. They they don't they they're not under the gravity. <laughs> 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 Like they're not under the, they're not subject under the laws of gravity like we are, you know. And 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 these same angelic, uh, uh, these angelic beings, these these celestial beings are gonna, you know, um, interfere, and 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 be a part of that standard that uh, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is gonna us, uh, uh, set up, to uh to to, to as a hedge over his men mm -hmm. you know and uh, we we us brothers pray that we, we are of, of the of 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 of, the, of that number mm -hmm. that, that are going to be protected over, over of uh, with 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 the, with that hedge you know and this is why we 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 do, we do these works this yeah. is why you know so so we can um so we can give the angels something to uh, uh, to, to 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 report good about you know you know, because when they, like even, even the, the scriptures say that even the angels they they desire to come down here and do what we do, you know. So you know, we we, we got to keep on doing this work, and um um, and just to to, to please the Lord, because yeah. you know, and pleasing the Lord, that's infinite amounts of 
treasure, you know. And um, uh, I was going to say the angels, they rejoice in having every time a sheep is, is turned to the fold. They rejoice. In. So best believe they're going to rejoice to help you out. And uh, another thing, the last thing I want to say is that uh, alms could be a prayer, you know. You don't that's, if you don't have, really have nothing to get, give a prayer to a brother, you know. You ain't got to tell the brother nothing. You can just pray for him and just see it unfold. You know, brother might come to you some good news, and you know you have been heard, man. And the Lord like <laughs> that, not being selfish, just pray, you know. And Yo. prayer don't always have to be for you or your family. It could be for other brothers and they family. And you could just send it. You really send it up. Not not no Jake way. Everybody pray for me, man. Pray. Nah, you're really sending up a sincere prayer like, brother, help this brother get stronger. You know, and that's the best kind of pair because the Lord love when you do things in secret, man. So he, he rewards openly. So right. with that, uh, the brother don't have anything else. I'm going to say Shalom. Shalom. <laughs> hey, uh, we'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Rakaq, Kodash, the bondest of our apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel who rule well, Peace and salutation to the hopeful elect out there. Push the truth and sincerity. See, women and children keep on enduring because these prophecies are coming to pass and salvation is near. Shalom. Shalom. <laughs>